Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Someone wrote in and wanted to know what I personally had as the strongest sign from Spirit. And I have to say that they're all magnificent to me, every sign I get from Spirit. It's hard for me to pick out one. You know, uh, I understand that we're working with another dimension. And I understand that as hard as we're working on this side of the veil to communicate with them, I know that they're working just as hard and sometimes even harder trying to communicate with us. I think I shared with you a story not long ago, and it was down with the Jersey Shore. I do a lot of work with a wonderful uh, group of, of people from the Jersey Shore who have very high vibrations. They're excellent mediums. And we had um, I had them stand, different ones stand in front of a white screen because sometimes you can see different shadows come in. And there were about, I don't know, 25, 30 people there that night. And at the same time, when one person was standing up there, at the same time we saw two energies step in and two energies poke their head out and back. And we all saw it at the same time. So it was just a wonderful example of how they are trying to work with us from their dimension. So, you know, every, every sign for me... Um, is is wonderful because I understand that we're we're not dealing with this dimension. We're dealing with another dimension, and like I said to you before, we'll never have the ability to communicate with them like we can communicate with each other until we're in full spirit, until we pass ourselves. So every every blinking light, you know, blinking lights are such a a strong sign because the soul is made of energy. So the easiest way for them to communicate with us is through electricity. So, you know, the lights blinking and TV changing channel. I mean, my center, sometimes it's almost comical to see what goes on. You know, the lights will blink, the light will go off, the TV will, will turn off, the TV will change channel, will freeze up on a, a particular song. And, you know, I, I listen to a, a station called Soundscapes, and on Soundscapes they put up little quotes, and sometimes it'll freeze for the quote or it'll freeze for the year. And um, sometimes it'll it'll happen during my prayer and meditation before the person for a reading even comes. So when it freezes like that, I look up and I write down the name and the date and the quote just because I know that one of those three things is specifically for the person that's coming. So it never ceases to amaze me. So it's very hard for me when somebody asks me, you know, what's the strongest sign? Because every sign to me is wonderful. It's like a miracle to me that, you know, that God gave us and especially me this strong ability. I'm so grateful um, to God for this wonderful ability and, and gift, which I embrace as a gift and ability. Um, but I, I'll, I'll say one that was especially, it was, it was really a, a very cool thing that happened because there were people present when it happened and it was right after my grandmother passed. And I think it was it was a stronger sign for them than it was for me, but I was missing her so much, so deeply. I loved her so much, and uh, somebody in the room said, why don't you ask your grandmother for a sign right now? And I, I said, Grandma, just give me a sign. And at the time, I, right after I said it, the words were barely out of my mouth, and it was like somebody took their finger, and I had all my Christmas cards lined up. She had passed away on October 13th, which is my husband's birthday. And this was like the second week in December, and I always lined up my Christmas cards. I stood them up on our hutch, and right when I asked that, it was like somebody took their finger and knocked everyone down, one just like a set of dom dominoes. It was unbelievable, and everybody just gasped. So, you know, that was a sign that was very strong for them, but for me, it wasn't any stronger than a blinking light. So to me, every sign is miraculous and a gift. So um, it's hard for me just to choose one. But again, to go over the signs, electricity, very strong. Feathers are very strong. Um, birds, uh, and birds like a robin or cardinals, butterflies that come in. You know, they're all little messengers. Uh, you know, they're not... Um, they're not the person that we knew and loved. You know, sometimes people misinterpret and say, oh, my mother's a butterfly. No, your mother's not a butterfly. But your mother has the ability, if she's in spirit, to send a butterfly in to hang around a little longer than usual. And since since we know on this side of the veil that butterflies are signs, they know it there, of course, and that's why they'll send them in and one will hang around a little longer than another. So, so you know, there's, there's many signs, uh, pennies and dimes. The heaviest thing that spirit energy can manipulate is a penny or a dime. So I tell people when you find a penny or a dime, pick it up and check the date. And not a lot of people know that. They understand pennies from heaven. They, they know that, you know, pennies can be a sign. But what they didn't know, and a lot of them don't know, is that you look at the date. And that will usually tell you who it's from. The, the date should hold, the year should hold some significance. And save the pennies and dimes. I save every one that I find. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. As, and as always, I leave you in God's love and light.